Hello, my name is Mark Edelin. I'm the Chair of Engineering and Technology. In the display case behind me, you can see some of the projects that students have worked on. 3D printing technology has actually really changed the way that we teach engineering here at HCC. Students working on these open-ended projects can conceive of a part or a design and actually generate that part in the same day. In the past, that process could have taken multiple days or even weeks. So let's move into the lab and see what students and faculty are working on today. We're here in the engineering lab where students have uh, several engineering classes. They also use this as a computer lab and a study hall, a place to work on projects. Let's catch up with Associate Professor Scott Forrester. Hi, Scott. Hi. Scott, can you describe the Introduction to Engineering course and how it's unique um, from how other colleges offer that course? We try to, um, every semester, build on the previous team's work. So the goal is to replicate the previous team's failures and successes and then push the project forward. That's called an open-ended project. So we've got projects going on right now in this room that are very old and projects that are very new. Our engineering students work on a variety of projects starting in the Introduction to Engineering course. Let's check in with this group working on a project now. Will, can you describe this project to us? I think it's called Blood Cooler. Yeah, we're working on the Blood Cooler project for this semester. Um, this has been an on-again, off-again project for HCC for about three years now. Um, basically what we're doing is uh, using the principles of thermodynamics and uh, the science of heat transfer amongst mammals to find a more efficient way to cool the body down. Thanks, Will. We're here with another group of freshman engineering students. This project involves designing a unique robotic manipulator arm. Can you describe uh, what this project is about? The idea of the bionic tripod manipulator, and it focuses on a, bi a robotic arm that picks up a certain object and places it in another position. Can you describe some of the, some of the hardware and how this fits into the project? Uh, this object right here is the end effector. It is the hand of the bionic tripod manipulator. Essentially, it picks up the object and drops it in the specific position. And the, the PLA wires move the hand to the specific position, pick up the object, and move it to the position. Um, the motors are what control the wires, the PLA wires. They are the movement of the bionic tripod manipulator. The handle, this was the original handle that was used for this specific uh, project, but the weight was too much for the motors to control. So instead we used this handle that was orchestrated on Inventor and replaced this handle. Thanks, Calvin. Can you describe, uh, has this project changed your perception of engineering at all? It made us realize as beginning engineers of different ways, different solutions. Thank you, Calvin. Shivam, can you describe uh, specifically what role you have played on this project? My task was to build um, the design of the hand that moves around and trying to reach one side to the other side. And first thing was I tried to come up with the different wires and the best wire was I was able to use was the PLA wire that I found in engineering room. And uh, first I used a uh, uh, gear assembly and made a holes and trying to use those to kind of hold my hands and it didn't work so I had to use a Lego part and it seems to be working so far right now. Thank you. Let's move into the workshop area to find out what students are working on in there. We're here in the engineering workshop when, with a group of students working on a project. This project is called Spy TV. Brian, can you talk to me for a second? Yes, sir. Can you tell me why this project is called Spy TV? The TV frame right here that will be locating people as they walk past, and the TV will start moving towards them, following them as they walk past. Can you show me kind of what that will look like here? Sure. I got the actuator right here that will be able to push the TV towards the person. As they move past it, it will move towards the person. Then as they start walking, it will start to follow them as the actuator pushes downwards. Okay, thanks, Brian. On. Hey. Can you tell us how this project fits into the new science engineering technology building that's under construction on campus? So when the new building is constructed, um, we're going to have it implemented in a kind of a presentation. 
So we're, I devised a couple of different places for it to be placed, either at this vestibule over here, people are going to enter, people are going to see a spy TV coming towards them, it'll be a marvel. Or we could put it in the engineering big build room. Um, what, we, what we want over here, the goal is to have it into a Rube Goldberg type of thing. Thanks, On. Yep. Let's talk to Chandler, the last member of this group. Chandler, uh, can you describe uh, what role you've played on this project so far? I've been working with the IR sensors. Uh, this is to detect the people, so when they walk past the sensor, the actuator will move the TV. Can you kind of show us how this works, this sensor? Whenever a object moves in front of it, I've rigged it so that it will light up two little LEDs. Um, these LEDs will be re replaced with the uh, actuators in the full project. Okay, thanks a lot. Good work, guys. So as you can see, HCC engineering students are working on a variety of interesting projects. We try to focus on these open-ended projects to give students authentic experiences of engineering from their first semester here.